Hey everybody, so I hope you're having a really fantastic day. Today I am going to share with you a tour of my winter garden. It is February the 11th and so it's definitely still winter. It's sort of trying to push into spring and you'll notice that in the video there's a few things budding, definitely some really lovely winter flowers and although if, as you stand back and look at my garden it probably doesn't look like very much at the minute. There's not abundance of colour or things like that but I am really proud of my garden this year. It's so different than a couple of years ago, even last year. It's so different. There is colour, there are flowers, there's structure, there's just a lot more going on than ever before and I wanted to share that because there's nothing out there that's too complicated and for anyone with a little patch of land that wants to know what is lovely in the winter, I'm going to show you and <laughs> give you some ideas. So in terms of a life update, we are well. 2022 is interesting so far. We've had a lot of complicated things thrown our way. Let's just leave it at that. There's a lot of things going on, which is why I wanted to make this video today, actually, because my garden is a little paradise for me. It's a little moment of peace it's a way of seeing that things are growing things are moving even when certain things in life aren't going quite according to plan and um, there are lots of positive things going on in life as well the kids are amazing i am really enjoying both of them at the minute they're so much fun to be with i'm so blessed by them and my husband as well our marriage is stronger than it's ever been and I'm really grateful for that as well. In terms of YouTube, you haven't seen much of me here and that's simply because I've been devoting my time to my family. I only really wanna make videos when I feel really passionate about something. I have something interesting and unique to share. I don't wanna just share for the sake of it. It takes a lot of energy and time to make a video and so I've gotta really have the want to make something. If you guys ever have any requests or ideas, I always take those into consideration. And I do have a running sort of working list, but 2021 was a really challenging year for me. I spent the first half of the year with really rubbish mental health. I know I'm not the only one. And then the second half of the year, my physical health was a really serious problem. I'm still working on those things. I'm in a really good place at the minute, but it is a work in progress as are we all actually. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to put my face on the camera, say hi, say I really hope that you are well and I really appreciate you spending the time with me today and I hope that this little snippet of my garden and all of the things coming into life gives you a little excitement. Now I will give you a heads up that I don't remember all of the names of everything in the garden so if there is something specific that you're not sure what it is or I haven't said or I've said it wrong please correct me down below. Last time I did a garden tour you were all so helpful. Um, I actually took a plant out because someone told me I should so um, I really appreciate your advice. I'm very much a novice gardener. I don't know everything and uh, we're all on a learning journey together. So some of you are probably wondering what happened to my curly hair. It hasn't disappeared. This is just it air dried and brushed out over several days. I'm taking a much more relaxed approach to my hair these days and not having it perfectly curly every single day because that's way too high maintenance for me. And so long as it's in good condition, I still think it looks great. So don't worry, the curls haven't gone. So yeah, let's get into the video. So welcome to my garden, everybody. The most majestic thing in my garden is always the giant oak tree at the bottom of it. It's a really old oak and it's just so splendid in whatever season we're in. So I'm just showing you around the pots first, the oregano that always keeps us in amazing Italian food. Um, it's always full of leaves from the oak tree, but the oregano is still great. I've got a couple of pots of spring bulbs and they're all sprouting and they're going to be so glorious. Then this is a new shrub that I bought last year. I cannot remember what it's called but I'm sure it's going to be beautiful, whatever it is. And the pelagoniums are still alive underneath all of those dead leaves. Strawberries, shells, 
I collect shells every time we go to the beach. It's one of my favorite things to do is pick up shells. It's a very, very relaxing thing for me to do and I love it. The kids pick up stones, I pick up shells. Here you can see that I mulch my dahlias really heavily. I don't take them out and store them. We live at the very south of England and so it doesn't actually get that cold here and it's been a really mild winter so so far so good most things are quite happy here even tender perennials sometimes survive like my pelagoniums they keep coming up even though it does get frosty and my caraway plant which I think not that obviously that's a daffodil or something um i think those little fronds i think of my caraway plant that may have still survived it didn't give me any caraway seeds last year but i'm hoping for some this year and then that's a new shrub which i'm excited about an anemone actually i think that shrub is ceanothus which i think is one of the most beautiful colored flowers in the world um this is so healthy now if you saw my last video i think you would have seen that as a little twig with a couple of green leaves and now it's really happy and healthy and thriving i do compost manure chicken pellet leaf mold leaf mulch my garden every time i get a moment because it is such poor soil it hasn't been loved in probably decades actually and um my garden loves it obviously when i feed it good good things these primroses i picked up a couple of weeks ago and planted out just for a little bit of extra cheer and i love them here you can see just teeny tiny buds now this plant is an imposter i think it's an aquilegia but i'm not sure but it's very pretty um this is a hellebore i've got loads of hellebores and i absolutely adore hellebores they are my favorite winter flower and they really require very little maintenance they just do their thing they love the shade and i just couldn't love them more so i'd say if you have a patch of land and you want a winter flower choose a hellebore there are so many different types there's a double one that i've been looking at that i'd really like to add to the garden so that might be my next purchase Cyclamen, also a really good addition, and any kind of variegated, like long lasting evergreen bush is just such a lovely thing to have. This yellow flower is a service berry, and I do believe you can eat the berries, but we haven't. Obviously, that's not a berry yet, it's just a flower, but it is lovely seeing that yellow coming out already. My Fatsia japonica is my Jurassic plant. I absolutely love those giant giant leaves they're so amazing there's nothing else like it in my garden and at Christmas we had these little white baubles that came and flowered on the top of it didn't last for very long but it was just at Christmas and it was absolutely spectacular one thing you'll spot in my garden is that there's loads of little clumps of green and those are forget-me-nots they actually provide quite a good carpet cover for most of the year and then obviously the forget-me-nots are so beautiful they last for such a long time so if any of my local neighbours want any, you can come and just dig up a clump and take it to your garden if you want. I don't mind. This is a lovely new plant that my mother-in-law bought me and it should be a lovely pink display in the spring, but I like its little spotty leaves. It's really cute. This is a little baby Brunnera and I'm hoping it survives. It is next to its mummy Brunnera and a Brunnera is one of the most amazing beautiful blue flowers and it shoots out from either side it's just thinking about getting going it's not quite sure yet it will be quite big and the spray will be just amazing i'm really looking forward to that blue shooting out this is dallium odoratum which is a sweet woodruff has a lovely sweet smell and a little white flower if i remember rightly and it just has spread and I was looking for a plant to go underneath my oak tree and that one I have really, really enjoyed and it's done really, really well. This self-seeded itself here, it's where the beans were and I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's really lovely bright color. This is a shrub that I planted last year and I cannot remember the name of it, but it has these lovely little red flowers that flower very, late winter early spring and it can be trained over years but i think it takes a while to grow this is a very unhappy looking hellebore i don't know why i think that patch of soil 
just wasn't very fertile so it hasn't really grown very well another little creeper very very cute and then my majestic compost bin which I love to pieces with a bamboo cane next to it because every time I put a big load of compost in I smush it down with the cane a few times just to make sure there's nice pathways for all of the critters and get the air going and hopefully keep it going so many beautiful hellebores in my garden and I just love them so much I could not love them more my tabery looking a bit sad and a bit like it needs a bit of love I'm hoping for good things this year the tabery keeps disappointing me quite frankly um, however my rhubarb is starting to show and that is a very very exciting it literally came up a couple of days ago it's always a very welcome sign of spring and everything else is doing really really well certain things need a little bit of trimming just to make sure the shape is looking good this lovely purple leaf is so lovely I love a bit of purple shrubbery in the garden it's one easy way to add a bit of kind of color and differentiation these are hyacinths that I planted last year they were inside hyacinths and I just put them outside and they're still flowering my sorrel patch still happy foxgloves where the lilies will grow and then my rose bush which I somehow left some of the ones at the back but I kind of like the little shoot of orange rose hips that you can see but if you look closely you'll spot that the rose is thinking it's time to start going hmm and then if we take a few steps back you'll see how big the passion flower got last year it hasn't really died back very much we haven't had that many hard frosts and to be fair I think it won't be for a couple more months until I trim it back and work out where all the dead bits are. The wallflowers are looking really healthy and strawberries seem to have overtaken my garden actually. Oh that's a very cute little viola I think. And then you can see this lovely gorgeous plant which I can't remember the name of another purple leaf I just think it's absolutely spectacular. Some lavender, my gooseberry, a little patch of yarrow which I use for making tea tummy tea then you can see a tiny little patch of new iris plants so so beautiful spectacular and then if we take a few steps back we can see my verbena bonariensis which is sprouting all over the place and is such a lovely tall purple addition in the summer and you can see a teeny tiny patch of parsley which is still trying to grow my giant pelagonium attar of roses which i used to make a rose tea is looking very dead and will need a lot of cutting back but i'm hoping it's still alive under there and my bay tree which i love having my own bay it grows really really well and i use it pretty much well not every day but almost every day in my cooking that thyme plant is surrounded by a perennial which I thought I had cut out but actually hadn't cut out all of it and is therefore trying to overtake the thyme I think I may need to buy a new thyme plant this year and plant it somewhere else the rosemary is looking really healthy and happy that was looking a little bit sad in the last video I made the spring bulbs looking amazing I'm really looking forward to all the color from that and the cherry tree that is going to be spectacular in this spring then my containers this is my actual favorite container plant but for now it looks pretty dormant and sad but still alive it just needs a little bit of a trim and these lovely purple flowers putting on a nice little show an empty container pot is a thing of joy at this time of year it means opportunities for new things to grow and my wisteria is still alive, I think, fingers crossed. It should get a little bit bigger again this year. And this is the plant that has red roots that I can use to dye cloth. And that is still alive and sprouting all over the place. And then looking down in this little patch, I've put, I think this is an Iberis sempervirens, I think is what it's called. And it's these lovely little white flowers and it's just a lovely contrast then you can see my very fantastically made 
frost protection with a piece of glass and a load of bricks and it has worked the pelagoniums under there are still alive probably a little bit dry at this point i probably need to water them but still alive then next to the house you'll see mint plants violas watering cans my olive bush and where the kids play in the mud kitchen not so much this time of year obviously they could but it's been a very gray winter and then inside the house i love keeping daffodils inside from the second they're available from this country and my mum keeps bringing me them in bunches and these are hellebores cut from my own garden very happy making to have them inside some of them won't last very long, some of them will, it depends on variety, but they need a lot of water as, and as long of a cut stem as you can, but they're so beautiful. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with anyone that you think would appreciate or enjoy it, and leave me a comment down below letting me know if you garden, what your favorite winter plants are. I'd love to add some more to the garden and uh, just, get it giving me lots of joy at this time of the year so any suggestions are welcome anyway thank you for joining me today and have a fantastic rest of your day bye